So I think I have to start at the beginning. Before we had kids, Chris and I were actually pretty cool. We used to get invited to really cool Christmas parties, really cool New Year's Eve parties. Now we get invited to kids' birthday parties. We used to get invited to really awesome lake houses and huge houses. Now we get invited to bounce houses. <laughs> we used to have 10 billion friends that we would go out with on a very regular basis. I know like two people here, that's it. We used to have a really cool office downstairs. Now it's turned into a kid's playroom with about a billion toys filled with it. We used to have actual guest bedrooms, but now they've turned into the boys' bedrooms, also filled with about a billion toys inside. And because we were running out of room for our own things, we went ahead and we built these built-ins behind me to fill with our stuff. But to be honest, they're actually filled with about 100 toys. So this hostile takeover all started with my first child, Dominic. I'm from a family of five kids myself, and Dominic was the very first grandchild in our family. And just a little while later, we found out that my baby sister, Amanda, was pregnant with their first. Liam actually came only two months after Dominic was born. So now my parents had two grandkids. About two and a half years later, we found out that we were pregnant with Luca, grandkid number three. And then only a few months after we found out we were pregnant with Luca, my baby sister again found out that she was pregnant, this time with the first granddaughter. That's grandkid number... Grandkid number four. Dominic, Luca, Liam, yeah, four. Grandkid number four. Then after even more time, we found out we were pregnant with Charlie. Grandkid number five. The thing is, I'm not saying that I don't like kids. I love our kids. Sometimes I don't like our kids, but for the most part, I love our kids. Most of the adventures in my life over the last five and a half years have really honestly been with our kids. Having kids wasn't the only big change in my life. One day, my baby sister brought home a boyfriend named Tom. Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. Tom is actually a phenomenal guy, and immediately, I hated him. He's a really, really good guy. He's got a great job. He's an aerospace engineer, which basically means he's a rocket scientist. I think he actually goes to bases where they like test bombs and stuff like that, but he's a really cool guy. Not only was he dating my baby sister, he was younger than my baby sister. No, it's totally not gonna work. Okay, so it's worked. He is a great guy, best guy I could have ever imagined for my baby sister. And he's actually really kind of nutty. So we've done gender reveals for our pregnancies and we thought they were kind of clever and cool. And of course, Tom, being the aerospace engineer, sort of almost like a, a, a chemist, a mad scientist, he came up with this really great idea for the way they would reveal the gender of their third child that they're going to have. So their idea was that they would carve out this pumpkin, put some kind of beaker inside of the pumpkin, pour in... Uh, this is medical grade hyd hydrogen peroxide. Oh yeah. Three cups is probably good. I was gonna just go like for the gusto and just dump the whole bottle in, but we've only done trial methods with one cup. No idea. I was like, more is just better. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. That's <laughs> science for you. More is better. So because my sister and brother-in-law didn't even know the gender of their baby, they had my cousin Kirsten take the doctor's note that had the gender of the baby, and she was to mix in the appropriate food coloring based on what the gender of the baby was. Pink for girl, blue for boy. And the idea is when Tom mixed in the final ingredient inside the pumpkin, it would react with the first chemical, and foam would shoot out of the pumpkin like a rocket, revealing the gender to everyone at the same time. The crazy part is, is that if any one of these chemicals touched our fingers, they would literally burn off. So that's cool. Change doesn't always have to be bad. I've been blessed by change. I've got a wonderful wife, 
I've got three amazing kids, and now I get to welcome a brand new nephew. So, I'm Mike Zale, and I like to vlog. I have a pretty hot wife. 